kids, it's Gabby and Michael here for our next episode of the Gabby and, and Michael, Michael Show. Show. Ta-da! Heyo, yes, we are back. And to start the day off, we have Danny with us. Danny's coming back? Yeah, wait, no, no, wrong Danny. Uh, you know him as Mr. Torres. Oh, Mr. Yes. Torres. Yeah. Okay. He's got some very funny jokes for us, so take it away, Mr. Danny Torres. Welcome to the best comedic act ever seen on the Michael and Gabby show. I'm here to make you laugh out loud like never before, so let's get started. What do you call a pile of cats? A meow tin. Get it? Meow tin. What did one toilet say to another? You look flushed. <laughs> flushed, you get it? Flushed? What did the tomato say to the other tomato during a race? Ketchup. Ketchup, you get it? <laughs> Last one, because I don't want you to faint from laughter. Why do mushrooms get invited to all the parties? Because they are fun guys. Get it? Fun guys. <laughs> See you guys back soon. Welcome, welcome to the one and only Chris slash Kelly show. No, no, that doesn't sound right. Let's try this. Welcome to the Chris O'Kelly show. That doesn't sound any better than my name. You know what? Why don't we just call it the Manager Chris and Tropical Christmas Kelly Show? Really, Chris? We're gonna have the best show ever. This is probably gonna be worldwide. And you wanna call it that? Did you say worldwide? <clears throat> what are you two doing? We're about to start a show. What does it look like we're doing? Bruh, seriously? Well, I'm so glad you guys are here because we're about to bring a special guest to tell us some jokes. We literally just did that. It can't be serious, right? Our person will tell the funniest jokes ever. Yep, she's the best in town. See if kids give it up for the one and only Vera! Woo! Oh, hey there, CF kids. I've been practicing some of my best jokes just for today's show. Are you guys ready? All right. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. <laughs> well, okay, listen to this one. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear! Get it? Gummy bear? So cute. All right, why don't they play poker in the jungle? Because there's too many cheetahs. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Want to hear a joke about a piece of paper? Never mind, it's terrible. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you like the jokes and make sure you share them with your friends. Bye. <laughs> oh, there you're hilarious. Well, CF Kids, welcome back to the Chris and Kelly Show. Wow, I like the way that sounds. It's like I heard that somewhere before. Anyways, I'm Chris. And I'm Kelly, and we're your hosts, your favorite hosts. And the ones that reside in your heart. Mm -hmm. Anyways, today we wanted to share with you all a recipe. Yep, and it's a great one. Get those taste buds ready. Today, we will learn to make non-baked cookies. Ah, yay, so excited. Delicious. Guys, that's not what we're supposed to be sharing with the Sea of Kids. Yeah, did you guys just randomly pick something to share with the kids? Amateurs. How does he know that we did that, Chris? Shh, don't confirm anything. Really, guys? You act like you know everything. Yeah, why can't we talk about yummy cookies? Yep, the kids need to know how to make these. Okay, they might, but your show cannot only be about cookies and jokes. There has to be meaning and yeah. purpose. Yeah. You have to have a lesson. For example, we are teaching the kids how to be confident. That's right. That's why we have a Bible story ready for them to teach them what it means to be confident. Yep. And talking about confidence, hey, we've been doing this for some time now, right? Yeah, but don't worry. It's not like we know everything or anything. We, we do. do. But you do have to be prepared. You need to have cue cards yes. and catchphrases. Hey -o. See? Yes. What we're trying to say, guys, is that we're not here like randomly. You can't just set up a camera and then start talking about random stuff. You have to set time aside to prepare for what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. Ugh. See, Kelly, I told you we couldn't do this. Why did I follow along with your idea anyway? Excuse me? What are you talking about? This was your idea, Chris. My idea? My idea? No way. You were the one who just kept asking and asking and asking, Chris, why don't you do the Chris and Kelly show with me? It'll be amazing. You even made me this freshly brewed cup of coffee, oh, which is trash anyway, as a way to get me on the show. Excuse me, number one, I do not sound like that. Number two, 
only asked you once. And number three, I was being nice by offering you coffee. You're the one that had the ideas for these cookies. Well, let's jump into the Bible story and we'll come back to these two in a bit. Peter and John were going to the temple one afternoon to pray when they saw a man who had never been able to walk in his whole life. Each day, the man sat at the temple gate begging people for money. Chris, how dare you do that? Do what? The only thing I've done is carry this show since I've been on set. Excuse me, the only thing you've carried is a donut to your mouth. Kelly, stars need to be fed, okay? And also, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I am clearly a star. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm done with this show. Whoa, whoa, Chris. Uh, guys, what are you guys doing? Yeah, just because things get difficult doesn't mean that you quit. Really? It's better than working with someone who lies. Well, who wants to work with someone who quits? Look, you guys can get through this. Yes, God is with you and he gives you the confidence that you need to get through difficult situations, just like the Bible story. Now, let's try this again. Jump back into the Bible story, and this time, let's listen. Can you spare any money for a poor man who can't walk? I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I have something even better. In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter helped the man stand up. As he did, the man's feet and ankles were instantly healed. The man began walking, leaping, and praising God. When the people saw this, they were amazed. People of Israel, why are you so surprised? Why are you staring at us as though we did this all by ourselves? God did this so that everyone can know the power of His Son, Jesus. Many people believed what Peter and John said, and they decided to become followers of Jesus too. Some Jewish leaders became bothered by Peter and John's teaching. They arrested Peter and John and had them put in jail until morning. The next day, they brought Peter and John to a large group of the men who ruled the whole kingdom. Even the high priest was there. By what power or in whose name did you heal that man? Rulers and elders of our people, are you holding us captive and asking us these questions because we've healed a crippled man? Do you want to know how he was healed? Let me be clear. The powerful name of Jesus healed this man. You crucified Jesus, but God raised him from the dead. Believing in Jesus and following him is the only way to be saved. There is no other way. The rulers were amazed by Peter and John's boldness. They knew Peter and John had been with Jesus. And since everyone could see with their own eyes that the man who couldn't walk was now healed, there was nothing they could do. Still, they tried to find a way to stop Peter and John. Fine, we will let you go, but you aren't allowed to ever speak or teach about Jesus ever again. But Peter and John refused. Do you think God wants us to obey you rather than him? <laughs> no way. We cannot stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. The council tried to scare Peter and John into staying quiet about Jesus, but it didn't work. Finally, they let Peter and John go. They couldn't punish them without making the crowd angry. After all, everyone was praising God for healing a man who had never been able to walk. Peter and John were in a difficult situation and they hadn't even done anything wrong. Yeah, on the contrary, they had actually done a good thing. They healed a man. Amen, but instead of being scared or calling it quits, they had confidence. They knew God was with them. And that kind of confidence led them to be able to preach the good news about Jesus even after going to jail. Yes, you guys don't need to quit just because, well, uh, things got a little rough. As a matter of fact, just like God was with Peter and John, God is with you no matter what. I'm sorry, Kelly. I shouldn't react it the way that I did. It's okay. I'm sorry too. Can we try this again? You know what? Let's do this. And I'll go ahead and uh, take a sip of some of my favorite coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> well, welcome back, CF Kids. You've heard the jokes. Oh, good. You've heard the Bible story. And now it's time for game time. Whoa, whoa, let's do this. Did you hear that? We're gonna make a whole bunch of noise, and as we do, I'll tell you a secret message. But will you be able to hear it? Listen closely, because here's the first one. A turtle lived in water while a tortoise lived on land. 
Did I say A. Eight turtles given daughters through the forest over sand. B. A turtle lives in water while a tortoise lives on land. C. A crocodile leaves the water, alligators take a stand. The correct answer was B. A turtle lives in water while a tortoise lives on land. Round two. He leaves these keys in the breeze. Did I say A? Eve leaves Steve's keys in the breeze. B. Steve's trees blow leaves in the breeze. C. Kevin ate a banana. The correct answer was A. Eve leaves Steve's keys in the breeze. Round three. 1,354,895. Did I say A. 1,345. B. 1,354,895. C. 1,345,958. The correct answer was B. 1,354,895. Round four. The Great Eight Escape Lake. Did I say A, the skate ate the state plate, B, the slate rates great states, or C, the grade eight skate late? The correct answer was C, the grade eight skate late. Thanks for playing Did You Hear That? Till next time, listen up and pay attention. That was pretty fun, but seriously, they'll never be as good as us. Never! They can try, but they will not succeed. Mm -hmm. Plus, the experts are here. <clears throat> oh, well, the best host can endure under pressure. Sure. So, let's see who can announce the announcements the fastest. Oh, you're on! Yeah, it's on. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the May Announcements Face Off. Ready to begin? Here we go. Question one. How many challenges do you need to complete to win a prize this month? <laughs> Sorry, Ali. Six out of the seven challenges need to be completed. But if you want to be extra sure, just complete all of them. You didn't even hit the buzzer. It's on, like Donkey Kong. Question two. What is this month's family's mission? <laughs> The hygiene kits. No, I said I put my <laughs> hygiene kits. Bring a wow. toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss. floss. Question three. I'm Name all again. the challenges on the challenge card. Wait, what? All right, so first you need to do your family mission. If you show up four weeks, you get those checked off. There's your memory verse. There's inviting a friend. And that's it, right? <laughs> that's seven? Is, is that seven? Four. Memory verse. Four. And memory verse. Invite a friend. Invite family a friend. mission. Yeah. Yeah. Ta da! Haha, -ha, I'm great. I'm good at it. But, Eva, you're a righty, right? Or a lefty? I'm a righty. Okay, all right. So it's equal opportunity. Here we go. Question four Where is this month's memory verse found? Ah! <laughs> Hebrews 36! 36. Hey! <laughs> Question. Question five. How can you show your support to CF Kids Online? I almost want to know what you were going to say. Nope, you didn't buzz the buzzer. Uh, you can subscribe to any of our social media. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, is there a MySpace? My, what is MySpace? This is back to YouTube. <laughs> Guys, that was pretty fun. Yeah, you guys know your announcements pretty well. You guys too. Well, CF Kids, remember! You can be confident because God is with you no matter what. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching the Michael and Gabby, Chris and Kelly Show! show.